at 3.30, we got Iowa State, which is 3-1, traveling to Kansas, which is 4-0. Kansas, one of the few undefeated football teams left in the nation. Kind of impressive. Uh, Lance Leipold has done an amazing job. Uh, but Iowa State favorite with three points on the road on ESPN2. Hunter, I hardly know her. Deckers, for hardly know her, uh, for Iowa State, has gone 101 and 141 here early on, thrown for 1,029 yards, 10 touchdowns to five interceptions. J. Rob Brock on the ground has had 64 carries for 353 yards and two touchdowns. And Xavier Hutchinson uh, through the air has had, Xavier, I hardly know her, by the way, has had 64 carries, catches for 353 yards and two touchdowns. Jalen Daniels for Kansas, by the way, Heisman candidate. I know it's insane to say, but Kansas does have a Heisman candidate. Has gone 66 and 93, thrown for 890 yards, 11 touchdowns, one interception. He also leads his team on the ground with 38 carries, 320 yards, and four touchdowns. Lawrence Arnold is leading the team with receiving yards, 14 catches for 194 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Kansas leads the series 50 to 45 all time. Last seven games have gone to Iowa State, very much closing the gap on that one. Uh, from 2015 to 2021 for Iowa State. Last Kansas victory was in 2014. ISU also has won 11 of the last 12 games they've played against Kansas. So this is pretty significant, right? This is Kansas' chance to exercise some demons against Iowa State. They've, they've struggled against Iowa State the past couple of years. Um, let's be honest here. Iowa State, they beat West Virginia. That was their victory in Big 12 play so far. Um, and it took overtime. To decide the champion. Let's be honest, we, West Virginia isn't the strongest football team in the Big 12. It's just not. So I think this is going to be really, really kind of interesting for Kansas, right? They're playing an Iowa State team that gave Baylor a run for their money, that beat a pretty solid Iowa team in Iowa. I obviously was in Iowa, at Iowa. Um, I think this is the possibility of being a really good football game, kind of un under the radar football game because neither of these teams are ranked. Uh, but Kansas with a victory most definitely will be ranked next week. Um, Iowa State with a victory would keep their playoff hopes somewhat of alive uh, with a 4-1 and one record. Obviously, a loss to Baylor sucks because you're going to have to go undefeated down the stretch. You're going to have to beat Oklahoma and Oklahoma State and all these tough Big 12 teams. Big 12 team, honestly, I'd make the argument Big 12 is the deepest conference in all of college football. Um, I think Kansas pulls off the upset of, at home, for moving on. Jalen Daniels is an amazing quarterback. And I think he gets his team to 5-0 and eliminates the Iowa State Cyclones. 